Hurry up. I'm a busy engine, huffed Henry. Goods arrive night and day at the docks. Sometimes Henry and the other engines work so hard that their axles ache. Sir Topham Hatt brought in a new engine to help with the heavy workload. He was long and he had ten drive wheels. He looked very strong. This is Murdoch. He's going to be pulling freight on the main line. Ahoy, Murdoch! shouted Salty. Welcome, Murdoch, called Harvey. You're the biggest engine I've ever seen, cried Thomas. <laughs> You're a chatty lot, Murdoch said quietly. Soon Murdoch was coupled to a long, long line of heavy freight cars. His boiler strained, his wheels started to turn, and the mighty engine chuffed away. Murdoch longed for some peace and quiet. But everywhere he went, it was noisy and crowded. At the end of the day, Murdoch was looking forward to a good night's rest. But Salty and Harvey were full of questions. What's the longest train you've ever pulled? Have you worked Marseille? Have you ever crashed? Please, Murdoch chuffed. I want some peace and quiet, and I don't want to share a shed with chatterboxes. No need to be rude, huffed Harvey. We're only being friendly, mighty. The next morning, Murdoch collected another long, heavy train. This time, he chuffed into the beautiful countryside. It was splendid. At last, he had some peace and quiet. Suddenly, his driver applied the brakes. There were sheep on the tracks. The sheep escaped from that field, said the driver, through that broken fence. They tried to chase the sheep back. First this way, and then that way. They tried everything, but nothing worked. We'll never move these sheep by ourselves, complained the fireman. I'll go and phone for help, sighed the driver. Murdoch was very unhappy. The noisy sheep were spoiling his peace and quiet. Sir Topham Hatt was enjoying afternoon tea when he got the call. Sheep? he exclaimed loudly. I'll send Toby with the farmer immediately. The sheep were becoming noisier and noisier. Please stop groan Murdoch. I'd rather be back with the chatterbox engines. Just then, Toby chuffed into view. Toby, exclaimed Murdoch, we're certainly glad to see you. Before long, the farmer and his dog went to work. And the sheep were soon safely back in their field. And Murdoch was on his way again. That evening, Murdoch parked between Harvey and Salty, but Murdoch spoke first. I'm sorry that I was cross, he chuffed. I'm very pleased to share a shed with you. And we're pleased to have your company, said Harvey. Aye, we are, added Salty. It reminds me of a story. Murdoch smiled. The sound of bar, bar, bar would have kept him awake, but a Salty story would send him happily to sleep. <laughs>